Hi, welcome to Sitting in the Summer Sun. We are looking at Joshua 9 and 10 and looking at a series of miracles that take place there that sometimes come so quickly that we don't really appreciate them for the miracles that they are. In jumping in, we've already seen that God speaks and that's a miracle. We've seen that God confounds people and that's a miracle. We pick up the next verse, which would be Joshua chapter 10, verse 11. Read along with me. As they fled from before Israel, while they were at the descent of Beth Horon, the Lord strewed large stones from heaven on them as far as Ezekiah, and they died. There were more who died from the hailstones than those whom the sons of Israel killed with the sword. Now, what happened here? Well, we discovered in our last episode that the army, after they were confounded and confused and terrified, they ran. They fled the scene, running down a narrow pass. According to this, as they fled from the children of Israel, God unloaded heavily am heavenly ammunition on them and rattled them, and the offending armies quickly learned that they could run, but they could not hide. As they traveled, those who remained fell to the swords of Joshua and his men, but to those who ran, deadly hailstones pelted those. And this is no freak storm. We should be impressed not just with those whom the stone struck, but with whom they missed, because nature is not selective. A tornado doesn't care anything about the character of people and the homes it destroys. It just does what the law of physics and meteorology tell it to do. When God is dictating nature, it's a different matter. God can and control the weather, including hail. Directed weather is mightier than any army then and now. Hail, we know, is frozen rain. It's a complex cycle. This is not a science class, so you can figure out what it takes to make hail. But layer and layer upon the ice builds up until the hail falls to the ground. And when the hail falls to the ground, um, it carries with it weight. It is cold. It is hot. It has all of those elements to it. At times, hailstones can weigh more than two pounds. Hailstones in Bangladesh killed 92 people on April 14th of 1986, weather can be a powerful weapon. And that's not the only time that the Bible mentions hail. It was one of the plagues used against Egypt as divine judgment in the books of Haggai and Isaiah. How many people died that day in the hailstorm is unknown, but it is substantial and it is yet another miracle that God sent hail to kill and help destroy the fleeing army, yet that same hailstorm did not affect the children of Israel who pursued them. More miracles to come. Keep reading the passage. I'll join you again as we continue our look at Joshua chapter 9 and Joshua chapter 10.